all right what's up everyone today i'm gonna show you how to set up the randomizer i know there's already a guide here but uh, it can be a little confusing there's a lot going on i'm also gonna go into uh how to use the randomizer inside of the randomizer there's a bunch of like hidden shortcuts etc etc again it's all here but hard to find so i just wanted to put a video out there kind of walking you through first thing we're gonna do is click on these two links here that'll bring you to here and here this page here on the releases, the GitHub, you're going to go down to assets, download, whichever region you are in, EU, JP, or US, you know, Europe, Japan, United States. Um, then we're going to head over to this page and we're going to select which one we are using. So we are in North America. We're going to select that. We're going to set this up on Dolphin. It's very similar either way. It just depends or it just changes what type of uh memory card stuff you have to do because putting it on your memory card on the console is different than on dolphin okay so what you're going to do is you're going to download the rel file here and hit pre-made and click on this that'll bring you the rel us1 it cancels i already have that you're going to open up your dolphin let's close this you're going to open up dolphin go to tools we're going to go to uh, memory card manager. See, we already have mine here. We're going to go to, you know, you can create a new one if you want to. So 128, yada, 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 Western, create. Let's just override. I'm going to go car eight. I'm going to override this guy. It's just gone. Boom. And then once we're in here, we're going to import. We're going to go to, you know, downloads to our stuff we just downloaded. We're going to have REL. Right, and we're gonna import, go back to downloads, these two guys here. You need to make sure you get both of them. And then once you got them, you're gonna go ahead and start up the game. So for first thing, we're gonna run this REL loader and that's gonna kinda make it wig out real quick. And that's gonna give you the screen. We're gonna hit R and Z to close it, to cut, you know, just move forward a little bit. I'm going to give you a little walkthrough on what everything on that menu is. I just find it easier to navigate from the screen. All right, so now RZ, bring up the screen one more time. This first page, settings, going to let us adjust the color. You know, hit X to go up at, you know, tens, and Y to go down by tens. So I usually just keep it at transparent. And then, uh, I don't know what alpha is. True pause is going to be whether or not when you open this, it like full on pauses it or not. Input buffer is basically a turbo button. If you have input buffer on, you're holding the A button. You're going to like constantly roll. It's really nice for mashing, stuff like that. All right, page two. This is where we're going to have the seed. If you go to custom seed, you can put in whatever seed you want. Or just leave it off and it'll make a new seed every time you start a new save file and then you know turn this on and off if you want the rando on or off debug info this is going to give you information for uploading to the discord if you need help with something uh not used very often mostly just need it for the checksum which is zero because we haven't started anything search id i'm going to go over on how to use this I, I don't know how to do check search i'm pretty sure this is like reverse searching allowing you to search for where an item, or for where a location, like what's in a location. I've never played around with this. Shuffled checks, this is the big one. This is bug sanity, this means the golden bugs from Agatha are now going to be randomized, as well as all of the rewards for turning them in. Pose sanity, all 60 pose are now randomized, as well as you can now get the pose souls from anywhere. Shop Sanity, you can now buy random stuff from the shops. You now, the shop stuff is moved around. It only works on items that aren't refills. If you buy bomb refills, arrow refills, those always will be just regular old refills. Dungeon items is going to be random uh, compass, random boss key, that kind of stuff. Not the actual, like, big items in the dungeon. Key shuffle is going to be 
where you have these small keys in the dungeons and in the overworlds randomized. So if you want to be able to, you know, move those around, you can. And then this is the sky characters, the thing you need the dominion rod for. It's going to move those around as well as the uh, books. Skips. We're going to have three pages of skips. MDH skip. This is Midna's Darkest Hour. It's the part where after you've beat the Lake Bed Temple, uh, it has you running up to Zelda. There's no items to collect in here. It's just a story thing. So I like to leave it off or, you know, yes. Same with Fair and Escape. These are all parts of the game that have no impact and kind of just let you go in and play. You know, if you've already played the game before, this is all like story stuff slash tutorial stuff. And I, I like to have it all skipped. This is Hyrule Field Gates. This is like the twi- you know, the uh, the bug collecting. This is having to collect the, the goats, do the goat wrangling, the puzzle for Master Sword. Escorting Telma and uh, the kid, I forgot his name. I play this game 24-7 and I don't know his name. <laughs> this is skipping these tour tutorial with uh, Minna. Early City in the Sky, the tower, or like the cannon, is going to be there ready for you at the start. Early Desert is you can instantly go into the desert. Very nice. Boss key see, this one's a little weird, but essentially it makes the game think you always have the boss key. No shop bottle allows you to um, buy stuff in the shop regardless of if you have a bottle. So if you want a red potion, a blue potion, that sort of thing. You can just, boom, got it. Fast transform, essentially the tool from Wind Waker, or, uh, Twilight Princess HD, which is where you can uh, R and Y and instantly transform. Skip intro gets rid of the uh, first day of Orden, you know, wrangling the 10 goats, doing all the tutorial stuff. Midna time of day skip also allows you to do a shortcut where if you're talking to Midna, you can uh, change the time of day by holding R and pressing Y. Uh, I'll show how to do that later. Early Temple of Time allows you to get into Temple of Time without having to do all of the other parts of the game first. Early Palace of Twilight allows you, you know, to get to Palace of Twilight. The mirror, even if you haven't gotten all of the pieces, will let you in. And open Hyrule Castle lets you go straight to Hyrule Castle, even if you haven't, you know, defeated Zant yet. This is Goron Mines Story Flag. This allows you to get into Goron Mines no matter what. There's some uh, funky shenanigans that go on with uh, early Master Sword, if you're familiar with that speedrun trick. Where having this on makes sure you don't lock yourself out. That's a common problem people have faced. Start with crystals is something that I personally use. It makes things a lot easier, a lot nicer, because it allows you to just teleport everywhere at the start of the, of the game. Um, makes it more of a treasure hunt to find all of the stuff rather than you're just stuck in the same areas. Just makes travel a little bit nicer, so I personally like it, but you can play however you want. Hidden skills is going to randomize the hidden skills, meaning that the uh, hidden skill chest after, you know, if the wolf, the golden wolf, after you do the golden wolf and you go collect the item, instead of getting the hidden skill, you're going to get a random item and all of the hidden skills will be scattered throughout the game. This here is just cosmetic, lets you change the lantern. I haven't played around with it too much, but it can give some fun effects. Last page, we're going to be able to randomize the music, get rid of the enemy music so that it doesn't interrupt your random music, and randomize the item fanfares. It's still a little in beta, a little screwy, so, uh, you know, use at your own caution, <laughs> at your own risk. I'm realizing now the reason why we don't have uh, key sanity is because this is the logic. This is the logic randomizer. The no logic randomizer has key sanity. This one does not. There currently isn't a key sanity in logic, but it's but key sanity, which is no logic only, and this is logic is going to be where the keys not only are randomed within their respective dungeon, but also they're randomed everywhere else. So you can get a forest temple key in the Goron Mines, for example. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make a seed. Just go link opponent here. All right, we're gonna start out here. I have the random music on, as you can tell, we're listening to, uh... 
What, more fuel, phase two? And I have my seed, the resulting seed E44, etc, etc, etc. We're gonna move on over. We got the checksum of F31C. I have everything turned on. F some fun little tips and tricks. In the rando, we have uh, fast laddering. Isn't that wonderful? It's actually such a nice quality of life change. And as you can see, everything's random. We got the postal and it played the bug sound effect. <laughs> and now we got the Orden Shield. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and show off a couple of the tricks. So if you're here, I'm gonna hit R and then Z Y, instantly transform. Very nice. Allowing it to just, you know, go wherever you want. You can start portaling. Easy peasy. Go back and forth as much as you like. Now if you want to change time of day, you're gonna to want to be Link. You have to be Human Link. Z, talk to Midna, and then instead of pressing A here, hit R and Y. Then you can just let it play through and it'll reload you. But it's nighttime. All right, so let's just talk to Midna and then clear that R and Y. Now it's daytime again. So next, let's uh, get into the next part here. We're going to figure out how to use this page here. This is the item search. Item searching can be kind of daunting because uh, it's not like other randomizers. We don't have we don't have a spoiler log quite yet. So why don't we pull up? We're gonna pull up this page, and we're gonna go to all items. Right. And that's just here on the Zelda randomizer wiki. Why don't we find something that's going to be in the first layer of logic, like the lantern. Lantern's always going to be pretty early on in logic. So that's going to be 48. All right. And I'm going to open up the stages and rooms. And all of these will be in the description, a little link to all of these. All right. So that was item. 48 it's gonna be stage fsp 108 room 4 fsp 108 open that up room 4 coro area all right so why don't we warp over to south fern got some more fun music i think this is the uh, dark nut music Fun little fact here about the uh, instant transform. Normally, I can't transform in front of Koro, right? No, there's someone right there. Instant transform, doesn't care. Boom. Uh, let's open up these chests. There's going to be a small key. I believe there's always a small key in that one. But this guy here, which I forgot you can add open as Wolf Link. Might just be our lantern. There it is. All right, we checked it up. If you ever do want to stop and come back to your rando, you don't need to remember your long seed here. You can just save and quit. And the seed will be attached to your file. You do need to make sure that you run the REL loader every single time when you're a fresh boot of the game. So right here, I haven't done a fresh boot. I've just saved and quit and reloaded to the main menu. So I'm going to open this back up and we're going to have the same seed. See, same seed. If you're wanting to do the no logic randomizer, I'm also going to have that down below in the description. It's a little bit more difficult, less entry friendly, but uh, I find them a lot of fun. This is still in beta, so keep that in mind. Yeah, hope this helped. Hope you enjoy the TP randomizer. I'm a huge fan. I think it's a lot of fun. I do personally do no logics. You can check me out on this YouTube or on my VOD channel. I upload randomizers hopefully once a week. That's my goal. And uh, I'm trying to mix in some key sanities, other wild challenges. So uh, yeah, hope this helps. And uh, consider subscribing. Peace.